Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 10.1 inch touch screen 2-in-1 Chromebook tablet. If uh, this is your first time or a repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel I'm always trying new and different ideas. If uh, that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in review videos, there will be links in the description box below. So this uh, Chromebook actually gives a value and uh, what happened I didn't have any plan to buy this but uh, one day which was last week I was just working uh, in the Best Buy and I came across this Chromebook and right away it caught my attention uh, due to the price and the way it looked. So when I saw it at Best Buy it looked really good and I couldn't believe that you know the price range uh, it was like you know between uh, 300 to 400 dollars depending on what you buy and I decided to give it a try because I was looking for a tablet and this is one of the Chromebook tablets which you know seems to be uh, working like a tablet uh, Chromebook has had uh, attempted uh, uh, several tablets in the past but I think this is the first one which was uh, which is you know uh, functioning properly or which is one of the most popular Chromebook tablets so another thing about this product is that this is not a new uh, product this is a open box product uh, you can see that you know it mentions here that uh, certified open box and I never uh, tried any certified open box pro product in the past so basically this is uh, something you know I found on the website and it said that it was in mint condition so I have a feeling that someone just like you know bought it or something happened to the packaging uh, for example you can see that there is a slight dent here and something uh, like you know or maybe someone just returned and then uh, I'm expecting a fairly new product or almost new product but you know it cost uh, cut my cost for uh, about fifty dollars Canadian so this is 128 uh, gig and uh, uh, 128 memory gig and 4 gig RAM so there's another version which is 64 gig uh, slightly cheaper uh, so I decided to go with the open box 128 gig and see you know how things come out so let's look at the box so this is just fairly a plain box and they have some information on here as uh, so for example two-in-one uh, detachable laptop ultra portable FHD IPS display uh, narrow bezel and there's some other stuff which I cannot see because of the stickers and uh, this one actually had uh, has a HD screen which is another plus point so let's uh, you know quickly open it up and see what type of product we have if this is like you know almost new or we had any there's any issues or anything so looks like there's just a slightly scotch tip right here so I'm just going to you know cut it here so I'm just going to put the cover in here here we have the Chromebook and I'll just you know put it aside here for now let's see what else in the box actually I'm, uh, let me just uh, smell it quickly and it still has the new smell so I have a feeling that no one actually bought this probably just they just had it damaging on the package because you know I can get the new electronics uh, smell which I kind of like so I still have that I still can smell that so let's see what in here okay so this part actually it it was not even opened you can take you can see that you know this is not even opened and then this is the keyboard uh, which looks like a little bit you know damaged uh, just the you know packaging but not the keyboard itself and it looks like even this one was uh, could be opened or not opened let me just you know take a close look so when I'm taking a close look it doesn't look like anyone used it so I think this could be a brand new product they just had you know some sort of problems with the packaging and I'm just going to open the support for the tablet and looks like this one was never opened and this is the fabric you know cover which is magnetic and you can just like you know put it on the back of the Chromebook so I'll just leave it here 
And then let's see what we have here. So there should be something in here. So I'm just going to take a quick look. Okay, so we have a power adapter and there should be something else here. Okay, so this one is empty. So we have the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter uh, for audio output converter, which is right here because this uh, tablet doesn't have any, you know, audio output jack. So they attach that, you know, uh, 3.5 millimeter USB converter, and it looks like no one opened it. So let's uh, try to open it here. Okay, so I took it out and let's leave this here. Let's leave this here and this is the USB-C cable and this one doesn't look like anyone opened it. So I'll just, you know, uh, put it in here. And the box is empty. So we'll just set it aside. Okay, so now here we have the tablet and let me just, you know, uh, quickly open it. Okay, I do not see any sign of anyone using this product, except there's like, you know, slightly dust here, but it could be that, you know, the team who certifies open box, they're just like, you know, taking a close look, but it doesn't look like to me that you know this was ever used so you can see that the blue highlight here which makes the tablet like you know gives the tablet a very you know nice finishing or nice looks and here we have the only one USB-C output that's the problem with this tablet uh, there's no other like an you know, output uh, audio output or audio input or any other USB-C or USB-A and then in terms of uh, speaker, you get two speakers uh, right here, and then actually you get two, you know, mic right here. So that should give you very good uh, sound when you talk. And this is the fabric uh, case. Not really case. It just snaps to the back of the Chromebook. And let's try. Okay, so when I put it, the magnet, you know, snaps it very easily. I didn't have to even, like, you know, do anything. And then let's try about the keyboard. So the keyboard is actually very nice and tiny. And when, oh, that was really good. So the keyboard just snaps into the tablet right away without any effort. And if you're looking at a Chromebook, then this is what it is. But if you just want the tablet, then you have to just like you know detach it and then it becomes a tablet so i'm just going to quickly turn this on and see that you know if it turns on and let's press this here okay so i'm not sure how much charge is in here but I press the power button. Uh, I don't see, see anything is happening here. Okay, so I don't see nothing is happening. So it could be there's no charge. Okay, actually it turned on. So it looks like there is charge. And you can see that, you know, the battery is almost none. So I'm going to have to, you know, charge this and then i'm going to use it for a few days or weeks then i'll just you know uh, attach what i think about this with this part of the video but in terms of buying an open box i don't feel like this one was ever used so i have a feeling that you know it was just uh, like you know damaging uh, of the package uh, because you can see that there's some sort of like you know dent here and i don't see anything else but i have a feeling that it could be just because of like you know packaging was damaged they have to sell this as an open box and uh, i've saved about fifty dollars just by 
taking the risk and then you know buying this tablet as open certified open box tablet let me charge this and then you know I'll uh, come back for the second part of the review hello everyone I took my time to use the Lenovo Duet Chromebook and today I'm going to provide uh, the second part of the video so I also have the Lenovo C340 uh, which is right here and this is 11.6 uh, inch Chromebook but this is uh, 10.1 inch so this small difference of uh, 1.5 inch actually it makes a huge difference when you're using them so in the past uh, I wanted to use this Chromebook as my secondary Chromebook uh, and you know uh, what happened that you know I never used it uh, uh, although I bought it for traveling and just like you know as a secondary Chromebook here and there but due to the size it felt big and bulky and I just you know I just sat on my counter and I never used it but since I bought this I've been using this a lot and the size has an advantage for traveling and just like you know use as a secondary Chromebook so I'm just going to go through some of the specs very quickly so here this one has a Mediatek Helio uh, processor and then 10.1 uh, inch FHD 1920 by uh, 1260 IPS touch monitor as you can see and then we have uh, 4 gig RAM 128 gig memory uh, this is the one I bought and then uh, Bluetooth 4.2 and 802.11 AC Wi-Fi then uh, in terms of uh, you know the tablet which is uh, 7.35 millimeter or 0.229 inch thick uh, 450 gram which is uh, almost one pound and the whole laptop after attaching the keyboard it becomes 18.2 uh, millimeter or 0.7 inch thick and then it's uh, 920 gram or close to two pound the whole uh, laptop plus tablet uh, and then it has you know uh, 10 hours battery life but in terms of battery life this is really good for example if you click on here right now and you're going to see that it says 80% uh, left which is 9.32 uh, hours but I actually noticed that you know uh, there's never problem with any battery uh, power or anything it can run even longer than 10 hours so in terms of battery it's really you know working very well and then uh, the speakers actually they're pretty good as well uh, it's hard to believe like you know how good quality of sound uh, this small tablet can produce and the drawback is that it has only one USB-C port uh, which is right uh, let's take a look which is uh, right here but you know Lenovo had to do something to cut the cost so I guess that's where they cut it uh, so this is only one USB-C port so definitely you're gonna have to get a dongle I have a few of them uh, so you need to get like an USB dongle something like let me show you right here something like this or this is a very slim profile dongle but they're bigger dongles so you, you do need a dongle or USB-C hub, hub for this computer and then uh, so this is actually a two-in-one computer uh, the keyboard and the base stand so let me just uh, show you quickly how to detach the keyboard so you have to just like you know pull out and you can see that you know uh, the keyboard came off and then the keyboard is magnetic so when you want to attach it is very easy to attach so you have to just do like this and you can see that you need to touch it right away and then this uh, base stand which is right here uh, this one uh, you can take this out too or take this off so as you can see that you know I can take off very easily and they can if you attach it it just becomes like you know uh, it the magnet attaches that so what I'm going to do let me just uh, show you only the tablet I'll just remove uh, both of these and I'll remove the keyboard which is right here and then here you're just uh, looking at the tablet uh, by itself and you can see that you know it's very good looking slim profile tablet so definitely you know uh, you don't you're not gonna feel that you know this is a value product that's something they did very well so let me just you know attach them again okay and then here we are going to touch this
So anywhere you look, you know, you're going to feel uh, like it's a quality product. Uh, it feels like a high-end product. And here they has this fabricated uh, base, which feels very good. It doesn't feel cheap. Actually, nothing feels cheap on this tablet. And I read lots of complaints about the keyboard being too small. And definitely, you know, it has to be small because of the size. But I never had any issue with being small. Uh, you know, it just works fine. And in terms of like, you know, smoothness and everything, uh, it's very, you know, very responsive. So I never had a problem with uh, that one too. So let's type my website. So it's a very responsive. And then, you know. Uh, I actually did video editing on this, uh, which I used an Android video uh, editor, and my purpose is to tra travel with this laptop and do like you know quick video. In the past, I was thinking to buying uh, Windows, you know, go to uh, laptop uh, or tablet or the combination, uh, you know, two in one, just like this. But uh, the price comes to close to ten thousand. I'm sorry, one thousand dollars if you're getting the base keyboard and if you're getting the better processor. But when I saw this, which is about $300 or could be like $350, depending on if it's on sale or not, then definitely there's a value in it. And I decided on this just looking at Best Buy. I was just walking along uh, other some TVs and then somehow it, I came across this section, this uh, tablet in the laptop section, and I liked it right away. And then later on I came home and then I decided to buy this because of uh, the price and the way it looks like you're getting really good value. So definitely I'm not, you know, I have, uh, I couldn't find anything to complain about and I've been using this tablet a lot. Uh, it can, you know, sit anywhere or the where you know space is tight or if you want to just like you know go to the coffee shop or if you want to travel you can just slip it into your bag it doesn't even take space and the weight is very minimal you don't need to worry about too much about weight and it can do most of the basic work and another uh, purpose i wanted to do with the tablet is that you know to change uh, files from my or to transfer files from my SD card to my portable hard drive and I tried that uh, it just works fine so you know I don't have to take any anything else I can just use this to uh, transfer from my portable uh, from my SD cards to my portable hard drive uh, that's one purpose when I travel and the other purpose when I travel is to uh, I do some basic video editing. Uh, uh, like I said before, in the past, I wanted to take the uh, Windows Go to compare laptop or tablet, but uh, due to the price and even that tablet could not run Windows uh, Lite uh, video editor, but this one can run um, Android video editor very smoothly. And I already edited some video and it just works uh, very fine. And also you can watch, you know, very uh, good movie or YouTube videos for a nice uh, view. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just, you know, uh, quickly uh, show you some sample uh, YouTube video. So let's take a look here. So I'll just bring this a little closer and let's hear the sound quality. Okay, so you can see that, you know, the sound quality is very good and I'm just going to play some like, you know, uh, airshow from my last video. So this is just a clip from uh, my Toronto Airshow video and, you know, in terms of like, you know, 
picture quality, audio quality, I couldn't find anything to complain about uh, if you look at the price. So definitely, like, you know, this is a value product. Uh, I, I don't think you can go wrong uh, just buying uh, this, you know, hybrid uh, convertible uh, laptop tablet. This is not a paid or affiliated review. I didn't take money from anyone and, and this is not a review model. I purchased this with my own money. So, you know, what I'm telling you, uh, there is no interest uh, to tell you uh, because there's no affiliated links, no nothing. So definitely I'm happy with the product. And I don't think, you know, I possibly I could get a better value spending uh, approximately $300 to buy a hybrid uh, laptop tablet, which is good for travel and which is, you know, good for uh, as a secondary uh, laptop or secondary tablet. But uh, if this is your primary tablet, then definitely I would, you know, ask you to consider again because uh, this may not work as a primary tablet because some of some of the limitations uh, Chromebook have, Chromebooks have, but uh, as a secondary tablet, just like, you know, to travel or to some basic uh, work, uh, definitely you can consider uh, looking at that. And I prefer to have a 10.1 inch tablet than 11.6 inch, which is uh, right here. Although it's only 1.5 inch difference, but you know, in terms of when you are uh, working on it in terms of practicality it makes a lot of difference uh, because you know 10.1 inch is very uh, portable and very uh, handy but on on the other hand 11.5 or 11.6 or 12.5 it feels like you know bulky and too big and it wouldn't like you know uh, sit on tight spaces or just easily sleep in your bag but this one can do that so definitely I'm happy that you know, uh, I've been uh, using this a lot and this is my uh, tablet or computer going to be for future travels. So if you're interested in more uh, Chromebook videos, there will be uh, links in the description uh, box below. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If uh, that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in Chromebook uh, videos, uh, just, you know, see uh, the links uh, or you can uh, check out my uh, Chromebook uh, playlist which has lots of Chromebook videos as well. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.